I got Miss Hunter with me. It's her off day. She's catching a tan. I'm gonna catch some bass. <clears throat> Still a lot on bed. I get on Facebook and they talk about how they're doing spawning. Okay, don't look. Just don't look. That's all I'm asking. They're on bed all over the place still. Shit, there's a bunch of fry garters as well. Not a bunch, but there's some. So that usually whenever that fry starts getting on the top water, gets on right up on the surface, that's when the bass really, really go and start eating top water. So this is the time where you want to skip a frog around docks and all that kind of stuff. So try to get us a frog bite for the end of the day. Maybe a couple. Catch us a few bed fish. Maybe get lucky on a big one in the middle somewhere. So stay tuned. So I saw him sitting under that little limb right there. And what I did was I threw the split wacky worm in between him and the bank. And I sat there and waited and he turned around looking at the bank. And I was about this far away from him and I popped up one time. He went straight to it, sucked it up. Not bad, it was pretty fun, but trying to catch one of a frog. Saw a cruiser, caught him on a wacky rig, but we still gonna try to get some frog bites. I mean, nice little bed fish. As soon as I drove across him, I knew he was catchable. His little tail ate up. He's up there right now. Waiting for him a big female to come lock on with him. That one bit the wacky rig. He was so aggressive, he would have bit anything, but I just felt like catching him on that for some reason. Oh. Y'all see them spells, man. It's weird. Lost so many on Santee. Came back here and lost a bunch today. I think it's, from, I think it's Russian. You just gotta let them ease with it a little. They just got them. There's another one. Good one. Ways to catch them right there, dude. Check out that three pounder. Nice one. I can tell because sometimes they
don't feel like I'm digging actually. He pulled me back. Look at that meathead. He didn't weigh much, he had a fat head, didn't he? Day two of uh, Santee, I caught a couple flipping. I'll, I'm back on the move where all I want to do is flip now. TK-130 supposed to hook them right there. Impossible to come off. A little keeper fish, but we're looking for eight pounders, eight pluses. Hey, 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 hey. What's he doing, doing hanging out here in the postponed hideaway? Look at little dude. Look at him. Look at that sucker. I'd be ashamed hanging out here in these trees if I was that big. So if any of y'all are wondering about the time frame for that video is April 30th. We actually saw quite a few elite guys out there practicing that day. Uh, caught them pretty decent uh, as far as numbers go. I did lose a five on a frog and a five or six flipping. So I didn't get either one of those on video. The frog fish actually came completely out of the water. I just had the boat turned where you couldn't really see it. But I was being hunter fish on April 30th. We saw a bunch on bed. But I didn't really want to mess with the bed fish too much because I figured that's what the, the guys were, were really looking for. And, you know, it wouldn't hurt anything for me to really catch them. But a lot of the people I saw were bed fishing. I didn't see anybody on the river flipping or anything like that, which is where they should have been because the shatter spawning out there. But anyways, it's been fun. That day was fun. Caught a bunch of fish. Hunter didn't hardly make a cast at all that day. She was just chilling, which uh, was her off day from work. So that's what she should do if she wants to do that. But anyways, if y'all like that video, as always, leave a like, leave a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see y'all later. It is time to get up there on Chick and find them ledge fish. So that's what we're doing for the next two weeks.